Hello my sweet stitchy friends, it's Melanie at Melly Alley Stitches, back to do floss tube number 10. I can't believe it, I can't believe 10 floss tubes, the time has gone quickly, very quickly. So happy Easter to all of you, I hope you had a wonderful holiday and got to spend time with family and friends. Um, we had a wonderful holiday, so there's a tradition in our family, which I'm sure like a lot of families, of the Easter egg hunt. And so there are five little ones right now hunting for eggs ranging from infant to 10. So I like to run the Easter egg hunt and I color coded all their eggs this year. So they, were, um, they could search for their specific color and then they each got a golden egg gift and it was adorable. It was adorable watching them run out into the yard and go crazy looking for Easter eggs. So we felt very, very blessed. Um, on that day to be able to spend the day together. Uh, my mom's surgery went really, really well. Thank you so much for all the prayers and concern that you guys gave. It, it really meant a lot to her and to me. Um, they did remove 18 inches of her colon um, and she's doing wonderful. So it was really prayers answered after like 20 years of not having good direction on what was so wrong for so long. So we're really, really happy she's on the mend. Um, today was a beautiful day in Michigan. It was spring. I got my workout done and uh, came home, cleaned the house, and then went outside and got the lawnmower started, which was fun. Um, had to rebuild some of it, but it started up and I got to mow the lawn and weed the garden and it was just so nice with blue skies and sunshine. I just, ah, I'm ready for this weather. So ready. So I have a ton to share with you guys today. A ton, a ton, a ton. Um, first, I want to start with Stitchy Kindness. Uh, one of the winners of my gift away, her name is Deanna Ellett. And Deanna, thank you so much for your card. She sent me a thank you card. Definitely not necessary, but much appreciated. It's really beautiful. It put me in the spring mood with the spring flowers. So thank you very much, Deanna. Um, second is Cheryl at Tranquil Stitches, Cheryl McKinney. I had ordered a bag from her, which came in the mail. It is this cute, adorable little bird bag, which I love so very much. It's got all the little birds and the flowers, puts you definitely in the spring mood. And then the uh, charm on the front is a butterfly with matching colors. And I absolutely love it, but what was the biggest surprise of all is I opened my package and she had sent me another bag as a gift. Thank you, Cheryl. That was so sweet of you. I really, you know I'm obsessed with your bags. <laughs> you know this, so for me, this was like Christmas morning to get an additional bag. Oh my gosh, so look at this one. Beautiful birds and flowers, the pastel colors, and on the front, the charm is a little bird. So this really meant so much to me. Thank you so much for your kindness, for everything you do in our community. It's really, really appreciated. I've just been ooing and eyeing over it all week long. <laughs> and then lastly, I received a bag from Linda Jo, Pretty Southern. I didn't even know she made bags and she had asked me if I liked this fabric and she made me a bag. Please go check her out. Her, she has an Etsy store. She sells bags. She sells grime covers. She sells the Oort bags. Absolutely beautiful, Linda Jo. I can't thank you enough. It's just this really beautiful kind of soft vinyl. It's not like the clear bright vinyl. And the whole bag has a cushiony feel to it. Like it's quilted. She has some batting in there. Look at those elephants. Oh my gosh. I can't get over it. Thank you so much, Linda Jo. You are such a sweetheart. You've been my friend from the start here on FlossTube, and I really, really hope to meet you in person soon so I can give you a great big hug. And thank you for this. So go check out her Etsy store. She sells these bags. Oh, and she also sells them in different sizes. So I'm gonna be buying another bag from you, Linda Jo, because I see you make like a 14 by 14, which would really help, because some of my Q-snaps on my big projects, I can't get in. Sorry, phone alarm going off. Yeah, so go check out her her shop. Thank you so much for the stitchy kindness, this community. Whether it's a, a note you leave on my floss tube or a like or a comment, it just it means so much. It really means so much. All of you do. 
Thank you so much for the stitchy kindness. So let's talk whips and mania. So first I'm gonna start with my whips. There's four whips that I've been working on since my last video, pretty diligently. Um, the first one is the Prairie Schooler June. And I had mentioned in my previous video that I already have what I'm gonna finish this on um, to Priscillify it. I, I came from Priscilla. Um, I already have it planned. I bought it at Michael like months and months ago. Um, but yeah, I need to finish the stitchy piece. So I've been working on this like crazy thinking, hey, it's, you know, April. I can probably get done by June. So this is where it stands now. I love it so much. I love the colors, the flowers, and the birds. It just, it makes me so happy. And it's one of those stitches that when you do like just the basic shapes, then you just have a great big block of color to fill in like in the house and in the grass. So you can just go and go and go while you're watching TV and not worry too much about making a mistake. So I'm loving this. I love June so much. Mm, love the colors. So I made a lot of progress on it. That bird on the top needs some legs. <laughs> love this one. Love, love, love this one. Next, um, this is a gift. It was some new haul that I had gotten. Uh, and I started it right away. This is the Little House Needleworks Friendships from the Sheepy Virtues, Little Sheep Virtues. Which I love, I love all of them. They're so cute. There's one Courage that I want to stitch so bad. He's like standing on top of a hill. But I love this one as well. Let me get it close. Um, and I got the, the Jabco button that goes with it, that bird button in the middle. Mm, kind of a glare. There we go. So I've been working on this. This is a gift. I'm not going to say for who. But I've been working on it like crazy, and this is where it stands. So just love these sheep. I love the colors that are in it. Love those two little sheep so much. Easy stitch, just really a lot of fun. Absolutely love those little sheep faces, honest to God. I was working on this one a lot when my mom was in the hospital. And every time I'd finish a section, she'd be like, let me see, let me see. And she just, she could not get over these little sheep heads. She loved them, so cute. So yeah, this is on my plans to get done this coming month, which I'll talk about my mania plans a little bit. Um, another one that was a brand new start for me, some new haul that I got. I have been watching um, Stitching Mommy, Sarah uh, at Stitching Mommy. So if you haven't watched her floss tube, I'm shouting her out, go take a peek. She's been around for a long time. And Sarah is brave. And by brave, I mean this girl does full <laughs> coverage. I went back to one of her videos and it, it was like her 41 whips that she went through. I think it was like a year ago. She brought out all 41 whips. They were all huge, full coverage. I think she said 19 of them were full coverage. Big pieces. Like, take me a lifetime to finish. <laughs> um, so it just totally got me in the mood, like looking at some of those and how, you know, there's two kinds of stitching. You have the cute stitching, which is like the, you know, like the sheepy virtues, like the cute country kind of guys. And then you have like the realistic like the Hades and the, the Mirabilias and the full coverage pieces that some of you guys do. And I just, she put me in the mood. She enabled my shopping. So I had seen this on um, uh, Amazon. I got this on Amazon and I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. It's called Beach Cottage. It's by Dimensions. Um, these are the type of kits I used to stitch, not this intricate, but when I was like 13, 14 and I did a couple of stitchy projects, I just love all of those flowers. I want to live in this little beach cottage, so if I can just stitch it and then jump right into it, that would be great. I love this water, and it's going to take me a long time, right? Because I think I calculated it out. I put it on my Instagram. The size that it is, 5x7, 18 count, being full coverage, it came out to like 11,000 plus stitches, which was like, holy cow. <laughs> I mean, for a small piece, 5x7, right? But... This is some new haul, so I got to start on this. Not very much, but I started in the middle of the piece on some of the bushes, and I'm really enjoying it. I'm just going to have that kind of chill attitude about this one where I'm just going to stitch a little here and there, and eventually it'll be done, but it's one of those pieces that takes you a while because it's like a full coverage. So Stitch and Mommy, go check her out. Sarah, she's awesome. She's a great stitcher. She's been doing it her whole life. I think she said her aunt taught her. 
No, her grandmother taught her. Her grandmother taught her how to stitch. So go check her out. Um, and then my last whip, this is Little House Needleworks Simple Joys. And this is the one that I've been doing the stitch along with Stitching Devotee and Kelly uh, on my Instagram. Kelly's already done. Hers is beautiful. Go check out her Instagram page. She does a great job of uh, getting it all done so fast and showing us some beautiful inspiration. So thank you, Kelly. Um, love this piece. I love this one so much. I'm addicted to the house and the colors. I initially was going to change up the house, but I was like, no, like tiger's eye. I just love it, love it, love it, love it. So here's how it is right now. So I got quite a bit done. The grass is done, the house is done, and then I started this big border. So I don't have very much more to go, um, but I've enjoyed every stitch I've put into this piece. It's just one of those that it's relaxing and the colors and it's just, it's not too difficult. Love it, love it so much. So that brings me to my mania plans. One of the things I think that is super cool about Mania, listening to everyone's plans and what they're doing, is you can kind of do your own thing. You can stick to the traditional Mania, which people have explained, which is like a new start every day in May. Some do a new start for the first 19 days because it's 2019. Some people do whips, some people do new starts. So I thought I would water it down a little for me and do a mini Mania. <laughs> Melanie's mini mania. <laughs> um, and since May is the fifth month of the year, I am going to shoot for five finishes. Not FFO, but five finished pieces that I just, I can stitch other stuff during May because I know that I will, but dedicating myself to getting these five pieces done in May. So the first one is June, which we just talked about. I showed you June. I don't have very much more to get done on it. I really want to get it done in May, obviously, so that I can have it hung for June. That's one of them. Uh, the Little Sheep Virtues one that I showed, this is number two. I'd like to get this finished. I'd like to get this one fully finished, but we're just going to shoot for finished in May. That's number two. And then the next three, I have not started yet. So there'll be new starts for me, but projects that I really want to get done um, for friends. So this first one is Lizzie Kate, Friendship Begins. I love this. How sweet is that? Little tea kettle with two teacups for me and my friend. So I'm really excited to start this one. I got the threads. Oatmeal by Gentle Art. Slate by Gentle Art. Midnight by Gentle Art. And then there's some DMC that goes along with it. But I just love these blues so much. It's such a pretty design. So that is one of my Melanie's Mini Mania <laughs> that I would like to get done in the month of May. The next one is from my mom. And mom, if you're watching, I already know. I, could, I can't keep secrets when it comes to gifts from my mom. It's just a thing. I always tell her. <laughs> so Lizzie Kate's Mothers. And I'm going to do this for her for Mother's Day. I fell in love with this. Um, we've both seen this saying before. I absolutely love this saying. And the colors, my computer doesn't do it justice, but the colors in this are so beautiful. I bought the exact fabric that's recommended, which is Picture This Plus Legacy. And I got all of the threads and the buttons. So look at these cute little buttons that go in the center of the flower. Lizzie Kate buttons, so cute. And then here are the beautiful threads. Let me hold them all up. They're just so gorgeous. Even the DMC is so gorgeous on this. So here are the threads. It's Rum Raisin by Weeks Dye Works. This one is Verdigris. Verdigris. Hopefully I'm saying that right. This one is Havana. And this one is... Loden. So those plus the DMCs, those are my dogs. I have the, the windows open so now anyone who walks by is like instantly barked at. <laughs> and then these beautiful pink DMCs that go with it. And then the linen is 28 count legacy by Picture This Plus. It is just beautiful. The variegation in it, or the modeling in it I should say, is so 
beautiful. I am really excited. I've never stitched on a picture this plus linen, so I'm very, very excited to give it a try. Um, I love the way it all looks together. Mm. So this is for Mother's Day. So tick tack, right? Mother's Day is like three weeks away. So this is definitely on Melanie's mini mini list. That was number four. And then the last one is, um, I had not seen this one before. I came across it and the friend that I'm stitching this for instantly popped into my mind. Uh, my Big Toe Cross Stitch Designs Cherish Friends. I just think that is so pretty. I love the colors in it. I love the simplicity of it. Uh, and the style of this is specifically this person's style, I think, from knowing them and watching their floss tubes. Um, and then I got the linen that goes with it, which is 32 count Country French Cafe Mocha Linen. Look how delicious that is. Sorry about the dogs. So delicious. Super excited to start this. I'm going to go pause and calm Max down. One second. So I'm back with Max. We found our cheat. Have we found our center? <laughs> Maxie says sorry for all the noise. Right? Sorry for all the noise in the flash tube video. Okay. Go play. No barking. No barking. Okay. Back to what I was saying. This country French cafe. Mocha. Just so pretty. So pretty. So that's what was called for on this. And I'm definitely going to stick with that because I just, I think it's beautiful. So that's Melanie's Mini Mania plan. Five projects, three are new starts that I want to get done in the month of May. And that's how I'm going to participate this year. I just love the idea of mania. It's just everyone getting together, doing what works for them and sharing, sharing their ideas, sharing their projects. I think it's going to be so much fun. So much fun. I did have a little more haul besides all of this that I've showed you. Again, in the mood because of Sarah, Stitch and Mommy. Um, and this is, again, Mom, you are lucky. You are lucky I'm stitching you a lot of things. <laughs> this is, again, for my mom for Christmas. I saw this now. You have to know, my mom loves snowmen. Has always loved snowmen. Her house is decorated in a ton of snowmen year-round. She just loves how happy they are. And there's a picture of her when she's a child. I'm gonna have to get it and show you guys as I'm stitching this. There's a picture of her as a child next to a snowman. Um, she just, she loves them. Snowmen are her thing. And so I saw this and I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew she had to have this for Christmas. So it's called A Kiss for Snowman. And this reminds me of her with her brown hair as a little girl kissing a snowman. <laughs> a Kiss for Snowman. Let me see if I can get the glare off it. There we go. Absolutely adorable. It reminds me of her as a little girl. I think it's just going to turn out great. And I know it's one of those, again, 11,000 some stitches. So I can just take my time and work on this for Christmas. I just think it's going to be such a beautiful piece and just be her. Her as a little girl. So yeah. Let's talk gift away. So the gift away from my last video was Sunny Little Day. If you guys remember, have yourself a sunny little day, putting us all in the summer mood, I hope. And the winner of this, I did the random number generator based on the comments, and then I searched for by comments for those of you who put sunny day. And the winner is Ellen Weaver. And Ellen, when I looked up your comment, you were, your name came up as the winner, and I went back to your comment. It made me really happy you won because you said you're going to stitch this for your sister because her home is nautical. So I'm so glad. That makes me so happy to think of this hanging in your sister's house and the joy you're going to get stitching for her. Um, so I will put a comment on your comment. Send me an email. Let me know your address. I'll get it out in the mail to you. Also, I had included these floss bobbins. So Ellen, if you like to bob in your floss, let me know and I will throw these in the package as well. Congratulations, I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy you're gonna get some enjoyment out of that. And that brings me to more haul. <laughs> so I own this pattern for myself, but I bought another copy for the gift away um, because of summer, summer's coming. This is in my stash. This is something I really, really wanna stitch. And I saw it online and I grabbed the copy. So the gift away for this 
Next drawing is going to be Summer by Lizzie Kate. I just love the colors in this. Um, there's four of them, right? So I finished winter. I have the other three uh, in my stash, but I figured to put everyone in the summer mood. It's a beautiful piece. They even show in the back here how some people stitch them all together. Um, I stitched winter already. Winter's finished. Spring is one of my whips. These two I have not started. So if you would like to stitch Summer by Lizzie Kate, just put a comment below. Please be 18 or older. Don't mention giveaway. Um, and I will do a drawing. Just mention Summer. I want to stitch Summer. And I will draw a winner. So that should be fun. I think that was everything I had. Um, Late on this video again, I was going to come back in two weeks, but you know, the time to prepare it and Easter and all of this stuff. So I hope you guys have been well. I really, really appreciate all your comments and support. Go check out Stitch and Mommy. Um, she's my shout out and uh, her videos. And then also I wanted to mention Donna Ray at Flannel Jammy Farm. So Donna Ray gave me this idea that I'm using this floss tube with the board and the clippies. I just love how you do that, Donna Ray. It looks so smoothed out and it, yeah, I just love it. So I watched your last floss tube and I saw you do this and I was like, I have to learn from Donna Ray. So go check out Donna Ray. She's a sweetheart. Um, she actually has got me hooked on a book called 1000 Blessings. It was in one of her floss tubes. She mentioned it and I ordered it on Amazon. I'm loving it, Donna Ray. It's amazing. Um, I'm definitely going to pass that along to family and friends when I finish it. It's just a very touching book. Really, really beautiful. Uh, she has a honeybee farm. <laughs> you brave woman. Um, but you must just love all the fresh honey. That's got to be amazing. So check her out. She's just such a joy to watch. So Sarah at Stitching Mommy, I'll link below, and Donna Ray at Flannel Jammies Farm, I'll link below. And I will be back in two weeks to see you guys. I hope you are enjoying spring. I hope you have lots of stitchy time. And until then, bye.